Okay, folks, here it is. You guys already know this star right here. Look, this is my cornbread. Some of y'all said it was like a little bit on the simple side, but listen, you gotta trust me, simple works. Today, we making a chicken and sausage cornbread dressing. Let's get it. Okay, so look, you guys have seen, you know, these ingredients, right? Not a whole lot to it, and I keep wanting to say the word simple. Look, we ain't gotta do all of that. I see people all over the internet putting all this stuff in there, but I promise you, if you want me to take you back home in that time machine to go see grandma and all of that, listen, follow this recipe, so let's go. Now, looking at these ingredients right here, super simple. We already got a roasted chicken, we got some chicken stock, you know what I mean, stock, broth. This right here is my stretch. I could have just made this twice, you know what I mean? But I like to add a little bit of this in the inside just for that flavor. And it, like I say, it's like stretch. Now, I'm not gonna name every one of these ingredients because check this out. Listen, I got a new website. It's out, it's smoking and grilling with AB and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? That way you guys can go. You guys been asking me for it. Now you can go and print, screenshot, do whatever you want. I got that recipe. Hey, with that being said, we finna work. Now we are gonna prep. All right, so. We're gonna talk about doing the uh, celery. I'm not finna give no lesson on this right here. It's just about how I do it. And now I want you guys to say it with me because after somebody explained it to me, I got it. Listen, when we dice, right? You dice by the size. If it's big, it's for texture. And somebody tell me in the comment section below, what happens when we dice it when it's small? That's right. When you dice when it's small, it's about the flavor. All right, so celery, onions. I still gotta shred my chicken. And this is my chicken and dewy, right? This is gonna be like my little level up. And I'll cut down my sage. I like using the fresh sage. Now would be a great time for me to go ahead and just hit bake, cause we gonna preheat, right? 400 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna take my cornbread. We gonna work with this in just one second. Now I'm gonna get my pan right here, cause listen, I'm ready to saute. Now, remember we talked about like, it's the holiday, we wanna level up and have the best ingredients, right? Let me go ahead and grab my Infused olive oil, you can see it. You guys know when I got infused olive oil because it's got that little green tint on it, right? I guess that's part of the infusion. When you use that extra version, it's like really, really transparent. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give this uh, about a tablespoon and a half. Now we add the butter. You know, this is like a little trick too. Olive oil, butter, no burn. I mean, you can still burn it if you turn it up that high, but you see this right here? Mm, we got it going. As soon as that finished, we finna go with our veggies, all right? So, we're gonna start with our veggies. Because I got them in the bowl, I won't start with my onions first, we'll just do them all together, right? We just wanna get these just to, you know, give them a head start, a little bit of the translucent side, then we're gonna add our andouille. All right, so I, wanna, I want you guys to look at this right here. This is about as far as I wanna go. If your veggies look like this here, then you're good, right? Now, with that being said, let me move this out my way. And before you guys ask, yes, I got my soapy water and it's hot. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add my andouille, right? We just add this here. We just wanna sweat it just a little bit. I don't wanna lose all of the flavor because we going in the oven, right? So we just wanna get a little heat on it, let it sweat just a little bit and transfer, you know, everything over. All right, so look, the real star is this right here, right? I know some of y'all wanna know like, hey, I thought he was gonna do something, all of that, you know, do that. I got several cornbreads that do all of that, but when you do it right, Look at this right here. You see that edge right there? Remember how we heated up the, the uh, skillet? We put it on there. When you would, if I'd have served this that day, it'd have been super moist with cornbread and crispy uh, edges, right? So I'm just gonna take this and just start doing it. Now you guys get a chance to look at it in the inside. You know what I mean? We're just gonna crumble it a little bit just so that I can work with it. We leave no crumb behind. Okay, folks. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you ways you can level this up. I'm gonna turn this off. I could add like a teaspoon of Creole kick or any Creole seasoning that you guys uh, like. You know what I mean? But most of y'all got the Creole seasoning. You know what I mean? We could add that to it, you know, just right now, but I'm not trying to make a, a Creole version of it because I do do that also. You know what I mean? I'm finna lighten up on everybody that's coming this Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? So we just gonna keep it like this. But what I will do is I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to this. But right now I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna let it, you see the way it look? We're just gonna go ahead and put it in there just like that. Your mouth should be watering right now because I know y'all wanna just smell right where we at right now. And I got it. I look on the internet just like y'all do and I see these people doing all of that. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with it. I do it like that sometime too, but I gotta say this. Listen, when you make it right, this should take you down that time machine and I promise you, you're gonna swear you right next to Big Mama while she do her thing. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just put this in here just like that. I'm gonna set this over here. 
Now I gotta melt some butter, right? Now we got a little flavor, you know, left in the pot. You know, just a little bit. These are hex clad pots and pans. You know what I mean? Uh, nothing really sticks, but I'ma still get the little residue of my infused with the onion and the, uh, the celery, right? So now I'ma take, you know, my butter. We'll just put it in here and let this melt. Now I'm gonna go ahead and address this right here. Remember I had this? I tell you, this is more stretch for me than anything, right? Uh, it depends. You can see right here, I got a 13 by nine. I'm finna spray it with a nine stick spray. You guys can do it old school. You can go ahead and take it and just, you know, hey, let me, since we talk about old school, I should just go in there and get that butter and run it right around the edge of that and do the bottom and make that nine stick. But you gotta do whatever you wanna do. So if I was doing two of these, you know what I mean? I could have done that, split it in half, use this as a little stretch and went from there. Now we're getting ready to shred down, you know, this bird right here. Cause I said it's gonna be chicken and sausage, right? Okay, so look, we got the chicken. It's all shredded. I probably use three quarters of it. If you're doing it, it's up to you. Again, I gotta say that. It depends on how much dressing you want and how much chicken you want to be in your dressing, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead. I did dark meat and white meat. And yes, I did take, out the, uh, take off the skin. I'm doing that, man, for the internet. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like it. That's a bunch of flavor, folks. <clears throat> so now we're just gonna go ahead, scramble up our eggs, right? All right. Just go ahead and do it this way. You don't have no whisk handy. You know, we all good with that fork, right? Remember I melted my butter, wanted to pick up everything. You can hear it. Look, we just pour this in here like that. Now I'm gonna come back, come over this with the egg. Kind of like going to outside. It doesn't make no difference because you know what? It's all getting ready to get combined in there. Now, I don't know no other way to tell you guys to do it, but I like to get in there and get, you know, with my hand. And then if you see some of your chicken need to be shredded down just a little bit, I don't want it to be stringy. I like to, when I take a bite, I want to be able to get something that look like this. Check that out. That's fine right there. Now, I'm gonna get in here and work. Right, I just give it just a little bit right now. Cause you know what we gotta have next? You guessed it. We gotta go chicken stock or chicken broth. So after I just get it semi mixed up, you know what I mean? But you guys see where we going with it right now, right? Then, you know, we gotta add this, right? This is where we gonna get our moisture. Now I told you guys everything that you need to know as far as how, as far as how many cups, you know what I mean? Uh, but we just start off right here. As the broth starts to absorb, you see where we going, you know what I mean? Now listen, if you feel like you put too much in there or whatever, I gave you the recipe because I usually do two of these, right? So you can just see how it is. Don't forget, we're gonna lose a little bit of the moisture in there, but it's still gonna be moist for those of you guys that like to have it on a Southern style. So if you take a look, you see how I'm just folding this? You know what I mean? Listen, the bread crumbs, you know, your cornbread, that's gonna absorb all of your moisture. And I don't know if I said earlier, I might've said that was four cups, that was six cups. It's always gonna take that, you know what I mean? But if you look at that right now, nothing is running down the bottom. It's nice and moist. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, you know, my pepper meal right here and I'm finna grind out, it, meaning I'm gonna have to like work with it for a minute. I'm getting ready to put about a tablespoon of fresh ground black pepper. Okay, folks, this is it right here. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Listen, that's what you want. It's really, I'm telling you, don't you don't have to overpower it or overdo it. Try to make, I don't know what you're trying to do, but you ain't gotta do that. Listen, just trust me on this. This right here works. I'll be, you'll be surprised, because I am every time. More people ask me about this right here than they do anything. Okay, so look, when you turn out and it looked like that, look at that right there, oh my goodness. And you saw that I just made that uh, cranberry sauce? Watch out. All right, so listen, we're going in the oven uncovered. We're gonna go in for about 45 minutes to about 55 minutes. You know what I mean? We're gonna look at it at 45, because if it start browning too much, We'll just lay a layer of foil over the top just to keep it from, you know, browning too fast. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna hurry up and get in, and I'll see you guys in about 45 minutes. Okay, folks, that's it right there. Now, let me address this. I put it, you know, I put a timer in there for 45 minutes, right? So then I checked it. I stuck a toothpick just to see how damp and moist it was on the inside. But then I liked and I saw where it was at. So what I did was I took a full piece of foil, put this over the top, just so that we don't brown so fast and to give a little reflection of the heat, right? I didn't tuck it or nothing like that. And I went another 10 minutes. So that's 55 minutes total. And don't forget folks, the shiny side up on aluminum foil. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this just sit up. I'm gonna let it, you know, sit up and rest for probably about 10 minutes and then we'll go ahead and taste it. I can tell you it's already fired though, folks. Okay, fam, look, this is what it looks like. It's really, really nice. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Listen, put that little crust on the top. This was nice. And when I hit it with a toothpick, it's still a little moist in the inside. I don't know about y'all, but look, I got my cranberry, you know, my cranberry sauce right here, which is homemade, folks. You know, that video just dropped. Hey, matter of fact, it just dropped today, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just get me a little bit of this right here. You know what I mean? Uh, I hate to even do this, but you know what? We are gonna make this a few times. Look at that right there. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason I'm gonna do that and don't put that all in my mouth right now, pause, is because it, check this out. I'm gonna take this and eat it the same way. And I went with the edge, right? Get a little crust back here too. I'm gonna take a little bit of this cranberry. Only thing missing is that gravy. Cheers, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, folks. This right here is fire. And remember, I didn't put all of that like I see in some of these other uh, videos. Listen, when I tell you simple works, it works. Only thing I tell you I could have had on here is a whole lot of gravy. Now, with that being said, oh, you know what? I want you guys to check this out. If you go to my website, listen, I got my first standalone cookbook, right? I'm taking pre-orders right now and giving a discount. So listen, go by my website, Smoking and Grilling with AB. That's W-I-T-A-B.com. It should pop up, give you a code, and get yours, folks. I'll be shipping it on Black Friday. With that being said, this is fire. Talk to me and let me know what you would have done. If you really want to ask me what I would have done, I could have leveled this up with a little bit of bacon. Hey, but that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take the time to say thank you for watching this video don't forget to like smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking a mystery out of cooking peace